What you guys, today we're taking a look at the best free software to control all of your PC fans. This includes your GPU, CPU, and any other type of fan you have in your PC. But before we do that, let's have a word from today's sponsor, CD Key Sales. Now, CD Key Sales, if you're looking for a cheap Windows 10 Pro OEM key, then use the links in the video description. Use my promo code, capital B, capital R, 09. Apply this to your order. And then you can go over to the change product key on your Windows operating system, paste in that key and click next. And then it will activate your version of Windows 10 Pro or Windows 11 Pro. Links are in the video description. So this is the piece of software we're going to be taking a look at today. You can get it on GitHub. I'll leave the link in the video description. It's called Fan Control. Pretty awesome bit of kit. Once you get this up and running on your system, it should look something like this. We need to do is come down the page here and look for the download the latest uh, archive here. So download the latest archive, extract it, and then we can click on the start fan control .exe. So Let's go ahead and unzip this. You should see this uh, uh, folder here. And what we're going to do is go down to where it says fan control .exe, and then we need to extract this as well. So let's go ahead and click on this and extract all. And this will take it out of the uh, zip folder. So let's go ahead and click on there. So click on extract. And then all we need to do now is find the fancontrol.exe. And there it is right there. So we're going to double click on this and open it up. And this will give us a window saying Windows protected your PC. It's from an unknown publisher. So click yes anyway to run the program. And you should see something looking like this. What it's going to do is say welcome to Fan Control. It needs to assess all of our setup and all the fans that we have in our PC, which is all my case fans and all of the uh, radiator fans and GPU fans. So what it's going to do is scan your system. You may find the fans stopping and starting and ramping up and uh, obviously uh, going right away down low. And this is because it needs to detect all your fans. So we're going to go ahead and put the ticks in the box that we want and then click OK. Once we click OK, it's going to say the application will be refreshed. Say yes to continue. And then it's going to start the control process of getting to know your fans on your system. So this does take a bit of time, so be patient. You will hear your fans ramping up, but that's OK. That's pretty normal. And once this is done, you'll be able to tweak them. Now, this software is simply the best fan control software that I've seen on the market. So it's free to use, but the guy relies on donations. So always chuck them a few quid here and there just to keep the program updated and keep it running. So here we have the identify and name your fans. It doesn't know what these fans are. This is where you need to look inside your PC and use the sliders to turn them down and turn them up to work out what fans these are. And then you can name them for something more recognizable. For instance, uh, case fans, it might be top fans, rear fan, front fans, radiator fans, GPU fans, and whatever it is that you've got in there. So quickly pull the slider all the way down to see the fan slow down, and then you can ramp it all the way up and find out which ones are going high, and then you'll know exactly which fans they are. And then you can rename them accordingly rather than having fan control too, because you're not going to know what that is. So once you're happy with knowing what fans they are, you can then highlight this and rename it to something more recognizable, for instance, radiator fan or fans or whatever you want to call it. OK, so just name them whatever fans they are. So now we've got all our fans named to what they are. So we know what these fans do. You can actually go to manual control by putting the check mark in here and you can manually control those fans by using the slider here if you want to. If you want to manually ramp the fan up or turn it back down, you can do here. I'm going to leave it as is and remove that check mark. You can hide them and there's a bunch of other settings inside here you can mess with afterwards if you want to. Now there's also a little wrench here. You can click on this setup wrench and this will give you access to some other options available here. Also, there's a little three lines here which is called the burger bar. You can go up to here and you can uh, donate from here and you can also do some other things like display the UI as columns and you can also do some other bits like start with Windows and start minimalized and loads of other stuff inside here. So there are your options here. You can sync this as well. You can change the theme color to dark theme if you want to, or you can leave it uh, white like this, depending on how you want yours. 
On the right hand side, you can save your configuration. It's always important to save your configuration and give it a name. And that way, uh, when you've made some changes, you need to save them because if you don't, it can actually go back to default. So you want to make sure you save all of your save, save settings up here by saving the configuration. So now we've got all this done, uh, let's take a look at some of the other options you can do uh, with this piece of software as well, which gives you full control of your GPU fans and other fans inside your system. So you've got also here curves. It will give you some information about the curves and about the speeds and about the controls. So there is a little question mark there which you can click on. When you open up the little drop down here, you can literally turn on the rocker button here. So let me just uh, toggle this on and this will give you access to this area here. At the moment, the curve is off. So now I've toggled this on, it gives me access to the step up and step down here. And this is in percentage per second. So you can change this if you want to, the step up and step down, which is quite nice. You've got an offset there as well. And you've also got your start and stop as well, which you can mess around with if you want to. Now, obviously, take some time and understand how this all works before you start uh, messing around with it. You can automatically do it using the automatic part. I'll show you how this curve part works in a second, uh, but you can toggle this on and then go down to the plus side on the bottom right hand side where you can then toggle on uh, the graph here. So let me go ahead and do that by clicking on this plus sign here. And down here, you're going to see uh, add auto beta for a uh, fan curve. And there's another one here sync fan curve and then also mix fan curve and then you've got your uh, flat fan curve and also your target fan curve and down here we've got the graph fan curve and also the linear and there's some other options down here as well so let's go ahead and click on the graph option here and this will put the graph up here and now we can see the graph so we can edit this graph and this will allow us to manipulate the fan curve for the particular fan that we want to control you've got your three dots here which gives you some options available as well and if you go down to the actual edit button here and click on this this will open up the uh, window where we can now add in our graph just like you would inside some uh, fancy motherboards where you get the bios and you'll be able to do the fan curves there you can do this right at the desktop here so you can set up your maximum temps and you can set up your minimum temps as well and then you can set your graph points on here to ramp the fans up whenever you're uh, utilizing the CPU or the GPU or whatever it is you want to ramp them fans up to. So maybe you're gaming and uh, it's now taxing the CPU to 100%. You can then have the fans running at 100% if you wanted to. You can set these little points here. You can also put some more little uh, points in and you can ind individually set these at different levels depending where you want to set them. And uh, again, if you want to remove them, you just right click on these and it will delete them as well. And you can set these how you like for the fans to kick in. Say, for instance, you're rendering a video and it's now taxing the CPU at 100 percent. You may want your fans spinning up at 100 percent to keep the CPU nice and cool. Maybe you've got, uh, for instance, uh, some gaming going on. You might want to ramp your fans up at full tilt uh, when you're gaming. Uh, you may want them running at 70 percent. You may not want them running at all. You may want to set them uh, how you want them. So whatever you want to do, you've got full control of all of the fans. Now to remove these, you just right click on them on side the little uh, dot here and it will delete them. So if you want to remove these. And once you're happy with your settings, you can click OK. And you can see here the temperature and the maximum 100% and you can see here the minimum and maximum. The temperature source you can set to whatever you like here for whatever you want to control with the fan curve. So there's everything inside here. You can choose which one you want to use, whether it's the GPU or CPU, you can go ahead and select it. Now, if you're like me, you've got a PC with quite a few fans in it. It's always nice to have full control of all these fans individually. And this is what this piece of software does. It gives you full control. Now, if you don't have these fans under some sort of control, it will be like a, an airport with all these fans running at top tilt and it will be very noisy and this will give you much more better control over your system fans, GPU and CPU, and it will be a lot better for you. So it's always good to take the time to set out your fans. And then you can save the configuration that you've got here. And uh, basically, if you ever want to uh, put implement them again on a formatted PC, you don't have to go for all that again. You can just in, input your uh, configuration that you've saved. So 
You can delete the fan curve as well afterwards if you want to. And that is basically it. That is the fan control software. Looks pretty cool, if you ask me. Anyway, that will be about it for this video. I'll leave all the links and information in the video description for our sponsor of this video, CD Key Sales, and also any links to this software will be in there. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support. I just want to say a special shout out also to uh, Gary Belts, Albert Hewson, Geo Sam, and Welsh Tony One for joining my tier three YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Have a lovely weekend and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.